welcome to my next session today's session we will cover how to adjust our unadjusted forex gain or loss let me give you an introduction of what exactly the unadjusted forex gain or loss the rate of exchange as you all know keeps fluctuating based on the economic changes across the globe so you may have sold a particular set of item or provided a service at a certain rate of exchange on a date or time and received payment for the same on a different date or time. In such cases, the rate of exchange may not be necessarily the same at the both the point of time. So you, so your business may experience forex gain or loss due to the fluctuation of rate of exchange. Let me explain in little more detail with an example. I will explain what is forex gain in the first slide. Consider that your base currency in Tally Prime is AD and the other currency in which your transaction is carried out is USD. So your base currency is AD and you are doing a transaction in USD. Now you sold a set of item on 1st of August to a specific customer based in US and the total amount was dollar hundred. On that particular day, the rate of exchange was 3.67. So the total amount has come in AD as 8367. The customer make the payment at a different time on or 1st of August or 2nd of August or later and the rate of exchange changes to 83.68 at that point of time against dollars. So when they make the payment, we will receive an amount of 83.68 instead of the invoice value of 367. So you have made a profit of 1 in this transaction. So this is called unadjusted forex gain. The same way, let me explain what is forex loss means. The same scenario we will take it up. Instead of euro, or instead of your dollar, we will take euro here. So your base currency is AD and uh, the transaction is happening in euro. And you have sold a set of item uh, to a customer in Spain and the total value of the transaction was euro 100. On that particular day, the rate of exchange was 3.76 per euro. Which makes the total of invoice value as 8376. When the customer makes the payment to us, the rate of exchange has changed to 3.75, that is lesser than the invoiced value. So the total final bill amount is coming 8375 instead of 376. So we have made a loss, forex loss of 1 for this particular transaction. So this is what is called unadjusted forex gain or loss in tally prime or in a normal scenario now let me explain what we need to do to adjust these transactions in tally prime in tally prime we have to create we have to adjust this unadjusted forex gain or loss which is displaying in our balance sheet trial balances this we have to adjust it to our expenses or loss so basically we have to create a ledger called unadjusted forex gain or loss which is created under indirect expenses or income and then we have to create a voucher class or, or you can create a voucher type for all these kind of transactions and then we can there is an option to enable unadjusted forex gain or loss and then we have to post the transaction and transfer the gain or loss to a, a particular expenses or income ledger. So let me show that in the tally prime. Okay, so basically we need one ledger and a voucher class in journal voucher type. So I'll show you how to create the ledger. As you all know, go to create ledger. I'll create a ledger called unadjusted forex gain or loss. I am creating it as an expenses. I just enter and accept it. The second step is we have to create a voucher class for the journal voucher type. Okay. So you uh, depends on your need. You can create a new voucher type itself for this particular transaction, or you can alter the existing voucher type, which is already there as a journal. So in this scenario, I am creating, I have already created a voucher type called unadjusted forex gain or loss. 
okay so this is created under journal and here i will create a voucher class if you already have a journal voucher you can go to the alteration of the journal and you can come to the name of class and you can give a name for the same there you will be asked to select this option as yes use class for forex adjustment you make this option as yes and tag the ledger which you have created under indirect expenses and accept this quick so the two steps have been done now just to show you in my balance sheet i have an unadjusted forex gain or loss this is the, the one which i am going to adjust it against this transaction so i will go to vouchers i will click on the journal and i will select my unadjusted forex gain or loss and i will select my forex class i press enter so automatically you can see the unadjusted forex gain or loss ledger has come up and here it will show the list of ledgers where we have the forex gain or loss for me this is the customer having the forex gain or loss i will select this customer it will show the transaction and again is that what what is the amount need to be adjusted i will select that pending bill and i will accept it and i'll give a comment i will type the narration as unadjusted forex gain or loss loss entry adjusted with journal transaction i will save the transaction accept it now when i go back to my balance sheet i can you can see that there is no unadjusted forex gain or loss now if you have any clarification or any uh, help related to this unadjusted forex gain or loss you can always email me and you can whatsapp me on the number which is provided thank you so much for the previous uh, comments and the suggestions which you have provided really appreciate it thank you so much